Japanese penis. Only experts of Japanese history would have understood the reference I just made. That or they watched an anime where that exact same ah, game is the... Roses are red, violets are blue... Ah? Why in English? Mo? <laughs> because I don't know any Japanese hi poems. If you... Never mind. If you say that you don't have any Japanese poems, you don't have any Japanese poems. Yeah, I I would fucking lose in su in such a game. Like seriously, first of all, I don't know Japanese, and secondly, I don't know any poems. Mm -hmm. So you are familiar. I forgot what the frick that shit's called. Taiko. Anyway, but no, huh? I said Taiko. Taiko. <laughs> yes, my favorite <laughs> instrument. <laughs> Karuta. All right, so. It's called Karuta. Karuta. Nice. The more you know. <laughs> nice. So I was debating whether or not I'd record this or not, but I re decided I'll record this anyway, simply out of spite, or just in case something interesting actually does happen. But today, in our learning how to play Fate series maybe i'm not sure if i'll still be putting this in the densetsu no monogatari series that is what i named the playlist by the way so for maximum cringe <laughs> it's not even nice it's just cringy if it's if it's just the english title it's just edgy but if it's if it it just cringy <laughs> i would like i would uh, i would like i would like <laughs> that exe huh I would like to stop existing. Anyway, so to today, what we shall be doing is learning the rules again. A little more. Yes, we're still learning the rules. Obviously, uh, who am I fucking kidding? We will do actual play sessions and one shots later. So I have here a plan. Roses are red, violets are blue. Over <laughs> there. On how we can be able to play and learn. Fate RPG condensed in about a month. Fantastic. Uh, so for today, uh, hopefully it will be the only day we'll be doing this. We will simply be going over the rules and reading them. This, Billy, I believe this will be the most efficient use of our time. By learning the rules? To learn the rules, we will both read the rules. Yes, this isn't like Open Legend Why? Anymore, I, don't like, I don't like the PDF. I would like to go to the website, please. Yes, the website is still there, but the PDFs are there now, just in case would there's no internet or something. Okay, and no you know, internet, the point PDFs are always nice, but yeah, Fate Condensed looks really ugly. Why are they Fate the Condensed PDF. or Fate Core? Condensed still. Condensed. Like I said, maybe we'll move on to core someday, but that day is probably still well, a long day away. That day, wait, what's the what's the English for the lyrics of opening one? And that day will come, whatever. Fuck you, I'm gonna hear on the That day has come. That's come! I said we'll come. I come. Oh, I also gave you this really neat and handy GM screen, which will be our cheat sheet, which we will be using a lot, most likely. M -E it has M -M -S. it has all the rules we'll ever need to know that that we'll be using most of the time, uh, but you know yeah. before we can make good use of that GM screen. I mean I've already read the rules, but it doesn't hit, hurt to fucking yeah. read it again for the fiftieth time. No, well, it's, it's more, more like the just, fiftieth time, just like tenth or something. More like, it's more like the third oh, okay. time I've reread the entire rules. Well, technically this will be my fourth time then. All right, we already did the introduction and getting started. Let's just fucking read, taking action, rolling the dice instead of trying to pretend that I actually know how the rules work by running a game session with you fighting wolves or something. Nothing. I'm just looking at the cards. All right. So, in a game of Fate Condensed, you will control the actions of the character you created, contributing to the story you are telling. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. We, 
I am still technically the game master. In general, the GM will narrate the world and the actions of non-player characters, NPCs, and the other players will, will con narrate their individual PCs' actions. To act, follow the principle of fiction first. Wait, where are you? We're in chapter 3 something. Taking action, rolling the dice. If what? You taking call action, them not taking action. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be reading. And we'll be doing test scenarios where we'll be doing battle scenes. In the game of paper, and then maybe we'll, we'll do a whole bunch of one shots. Contributing to the story you are, you are telling together. General GM will marry the world in action for non players, character, and PCs. And the other players will narrate their individual PCs, action, player, character. To act by the principle of fiction first. Fiction. Say what your character is trying this? to do. Then, huh? Fiction, as in fictional. Yes, fantasy. <laughs> That's All a synonym. Right. Fiction. Fiction is like this. Friction. <laughs> Say what your character is trying to do, then figure out how you'll do that in the system. Your character's aspects and lore like, like, will make an attempt. A, I, will, I will use attack to punch this mother. Rather than saying I use uh, I attack, you should say I swing my sword. And I use attack. That. Yes, rather than saying, I inflict the blinded bane, I inflict you damage. say, I poke his eyes out, or I pu pull out sand in his face. Oh, okay. I will poke I will poke his eyes and use fight. Rather than saying, I invoke the heal boon, you say, I take out my med kit and apply medicine to my ally. Oh, the action literally yes you say what you want to do first and then we figure out how that works I so see. Well, so you, you say it first then after that we will you think. want to apply medicine uh, the gm said what about your, uh, uh, i want to go to heaven to punch god uh was the gm's uh, respond how about no gotcha <laughs> In, in the scenario with the medicine, uh, that would be when I say, "All right, then academics. roll for yes, roll for academics and stuff." Woo! <laughs> All right. How do you know if you're successful? Of of them, your character will simply, simply succeed, succeed because, because the action is hard and nobody's trying, trying to stop, stop you. you. But in difficult or unpredictable situation, you will break out the dice to find what happened. When a character wants to take an action, the group should think about this question. What's stopping this from happening? What, what can go wrong? I How see. is it interesting when it does go wrong? If no one has good answers to all these questions, I, I would argue there should be a fourth question that should be added here. Is this even feasible? Is, can this, is this action even feasible? Like, can it yes, actually yes. succeed? When like, if, if it can't succeed, then fucking don't do it either. <laughs> what's stopping from this happening? What do you mean, what's stopping from this happening? How is it succeeding? What's preventing it from happening? Uh, you, wanna, you want to uh, read a book? What's stopping you from reading this book? Oh, the room is dark. There we go. Then you got a roll for it. Otherwise, if the room is bright oh, and no one's... What's stopping you from what you're doing? Yeah, what's stopping you from doing? trying to do what you want to oh. do? Any obstacles or preventions and whatnot. They want distractions. These three actions. Yeah, if those are the three questions you should ask before rolling the dice. What could go wrong? What could go wrong if what I What could possibly go, go wrong? wrong? If I shoot this guy IRL, what could possibly go wrong? I can just escape. <laughs> if no one has good answers to all these questions, then it simply happens. Driving oh, to the airport doesn't I get require it. a roll of the dice. This racing down needed. the highway to a waiting plane while being pursued by cybernetically enhanced beasts from another world, on the other hand, is a perfect world. time to roll the dice. Whenever you take action, follow this step. Fiction first. Describe this what you're, you're trying to do, then choose the skill. The skill. Then roll the dice. Add action up is the dice. Then fight and right PC. Yeah, action is when you roll the dice skill. with a the skill. With skill. A skill, there your the academic, voice? fight, shoot. Oh. Burglary. Oh, that's the stunts what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're, you were talking about stunts. You add those in step Roll 5. Roll dice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then add the thing uh -huh. to your skill. Then you decide, you modify Wait, the dice by invoking aspects and using stunts. I we'll see. talk about invoking oh, aspects and you, stunts. Oh, you, you describe the fiction force. 
then you will describe if I can use stunts. Or aspects, yes. Oh, I thought I need to say, I use stunts. Then you declare your result called your effort. That is like, what's that called? Oh yeah, by the way, I watched your Akinator. Yeah. Not, I saw Fap for fun. Fap for fun. <laughs> Epic. In here, in the four things. <laughs> Fap for fun. Wait, what? How? When? Uh, what was I searching up anyway? Oh, then? you were searching about the Advance Wars. You go to new tab and I saw Fat for Fun. This oh. is the Advance Wars. Oh, character. right. Let's open it. Let's open a fucking. I'm recording, right? All yes. right. Let's check Dang. out. All right. Fat for Fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> I fucking go to that website so many times now, apparently. It will not go away. It will never go away. Like, yeah, if you keep searching out, it will never go away. Anymore. I went there like a couple of times, and apparently a couple of times was all it takes. <laughs> yeah, I just... Yeah. What about the other website I go to? Why is that? I feel like I go to that other place more often. Oh. What about Anhantai? I feel like I've went to that plenty of times already. But anyway, let's just move on. Difficulty and opposition. Oh, are we going in here now? Yes. What's with this? Uh, oh, it's just for clicking. If the character's action faces a fixed obstacle or otherwise tries to alter the world rather than a character or creature, their action faces a static difficulty rating. These actions include picking locks, barring doors, and tactically assessing an enemy camp. The GM may decide that the presence of certain aspects on the character, the scene, or something else justifies changing the difficulty. So yeah, this is like a static Wait, role, we didn't listen. <laughs> like an open legend, like you wanna lock pick a chest, uh -huh. then you roll the dice and hope you roll higher than what you yeah, high enough in what you need to. Yes. It's that type of action role. Other times, an enemy will provide opposition, an opposed role. You know what? Wh whenever that happens, where you're like, I, I'm gonna heal, and then you're gonna be all like, how about no? Then that's what will happen. You roll dice, and I also roll dice, and the one who rolls highest is the winner. Then what if I walk? Then you say, no, I roll dice as well. You don't walk. <laughs> you stay in place. We uh, we f we gotta answer like the questions like what's stopping them from happening? What could go wrong? How is it interesting when it does I wanna go, go wrong? Outside, but not, Otherwise, not, not my just mom says no. What's stopping you, my mom? Roll for will <laughs> to see if you can ignore your mom's advice or whatever. Fantastic. I'd say that's like a plus one difficulty. <laughs> sure, with with zero, I guess. Alright, so blank, a plus, a plus, a minus, a plus one, I want. <laughs> nah, it's a tie. Oh, it's it, a tie. Yeah. We'll talk about the types of successes and failures you can get soon later in the book. But yeah, you're all the plus one, that means it's a tie, that means you succeed, but there's a minor cost. My, your mom catches you going outside. <laughs> <laughs> about to go outside. Yeah, sure, why not? That works. And, and uh, she doesn't try to go after you, but you are but you know for sure something's gonna happen when you return home. Where are you, Mr. Rusty Jean de la Cruz? Where have you been? <laughs> Searching on the law. <laughs> Using my money just to go to a brawl? Alright, let's find guys. There's, a, there's an example. Yeah, we can just move on to modifying the dice. You may, you may modify your dice, dice by invoking aspects, aspects to get, get a plus two. two to your roll and or reroll of the dice. Some stunts also give you a bonus. You may also invoke aspects of support an ally. You want to increase the difficulty of enemy spaces. What? Yeah, there, they'll be talked about later in the book. Oh, later. Invoke First, invoking aspect. aspects. When you take action but the dice come up short, you don't have to sit back and accept failure. Though you totally can, that's fun too. The aspects in play give you options and the opportunity to succeed. When an aspect could justifiably help your efforts, describe how it helps and spend a fate point to invoke it. Or use a free invoke if it's possible. Or but usually you need fate points. Or I can just say, no, I don't want to fight Kumo for Lady the Mysterious, I'm just gonna pout. <laughs> 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 what is and isn't justifiable is subject to the bogus rule. 
anyone can say, that's bogus. Oh no! My pouting and sitting is bogus! How? <laughs> Why is it just, oh. <laughs> anyone can say that's bogus. Doing broke thing on us. That's the big with a bogus tool is calibrated. You read it. The calibration tool that anyone at the table may use to help the group make sure the game stays true to its vision and concept. You can use safety tools in a similar fashion. You have two options when your in your when your invoke looks bogus. First, you can retract your invoke and try something else, maybe oh, a different undo. aspect. I can do undo. Second, you can have a quick discussion about why you think the aspect fits. If the person still isn't convinced, retract the invoke and move on. If they come around to your perspective, go ahead and with the invoke as usual. The bogus rule is here to help everyone at the table have a good time. Use it when something <coughs> doesn't sound right, make sense, or fit the tone. Someone invoking the great at first impressions aspect to throw away car is likely bogus, but maybe that character has supernatural stunt that makes them incredibly strong. Strong wow. enough to poss possibly throw a car and this is their opening gambit in a fight with a horrible monster. This is just like case, Uno. Maybe great at first impressions that's is bogus. possible. Hearing me, that's bogus. Like, well, what's an example we can use with no tarot, Kuno? Uh... Let's look at his aspects. Oh, I, I, was, I was already thinking God of Cod. Alright, so, uh, I have a Lamborghini. Let's say you wanna, you, you, you're, you're doing an action. Give me an example thingy. Riding over a dog. You, then, then you can already use your, I have a Lamborghini oh, there and there would be no. I see, I Unless, see. The car, the car you're using to ram over the dog isn't your Lamborghini, but some random one you stole. I oh, then I use my Lamborghini to run over that dog. You could say, you could say, I, I could say that's bogus because you're not using your Lamborghini, so you can't use your free aspect to get your bonus, your Lamborghini aspect to get a plus two. Why is that to bogus? To ram over the dog because it's a, it's not your Lamborghini. It's a car. But oh. it's not your Lamborghini. Oh, but I... you can refute by saying, "Well, Lamborghini and whatever this is I'm driving, they're both technically cars, so I should still be able to apply it." And then I'll be all like, "Hmm, yeah, that makes sense. Very well then. I'll let you do it. This it's a... not bogus." Our thing is attorney or something. Technically, yeah, that's a, that's basically what happens a lot of the time. That's ex expected to be what happens. Yeah, invoking. <laughs> I can just say no. A lot of arguments. Is what happens when I, when aspects are invoked. Yeah, we'll be arguing about aspects a lot in the in while playing Fate. I expect. <laughs> I know to use this gun because I have a free aspect, high aspect to card. <laughs> trouble. Is it trouble? Your trouble is that you oh, you like free aspect. My God of God is a free aspect. Yeah. When an aspect is so uh, you, you press options. <laughs> Where are we now? Oh, here we go. When you invoke an aspect, Wait, you can stop. get a plus two. Um, where are we now? Where are when we? When you invoke an when aspect, you, an aspect. So you can get a plus two or re-roll your dice. Oh. Or you can add a plus two to some to the difficulty of someone else's roll, if justifiable. So you can get a plus two to yourself or put a minus two on someone else. Oh, even a minus two? Yeah. That's bogus. There's a cat in your... Boots. <laughs> There's a snake on your boots. If justifiable. You can invoke multiple aspects on the same roll, but you can't invoke the same aspect multiple times. Oh, there we go. There's the rule on the same roll. There is one exception. You can spend as many free invokes on an aspect as you like on the same roll. If possible. Because not everything is free invo Not every aspect is free invocable. Yeah. Fantastic. You you can so basically this is the argumentation. Yeah, you're the... trying to like run away. You roll the plus one, so that means you su you su you do a minor succeed. But then you have this aspect. Uh, you're gonna I get it. into trouble a lot, oh. uh, or something, and then you use that. So you can either like get the plus two or try to re-roll the dice. At which point, I guess getting a plus two would Has be way more useful. Has ever Star Platinum uses his leg to to make Jotaro fly? I guess in the fight against Dio. Oh, probably like punching the wall to go left or right. 
Oh, and there was that one time with in the fight against uh, M Duel, where he Ooh. kicked the ground so that he could oh, jump. Oh yeah, the, the ground. Yeah, there go. Yeah, there Iggy, the Iggy. Iggy. thing. Yeah. The first enemy on second season. Often you'll invoke one of your character aspects. You may also invoke a situation aspect or make a hostile invocation of another character's aspect. So there, there's the fun part about aspects, I guess. You can just simply use your own aspects to give you plus twos and re-roll dice. Or you can use someone else. Uh, it doesn't always have to be you. When you're invoking an aspect, you can invoke anyone's aspects. As long as you know them. Friend, I have a Lamborghini. Here's my car keys. Now run over that cat. <laughs> See? So I can use that like that. You have a plus two now. Uh, that's that's bogus because I said so. <laughs> no, that's unjustified. Ah! <laughs> Objection. No, just unjust. Oh my god. Look at combat. No, that's unjustified. Right, whatever. Using stunts. Alright, I'm using Let's stunts. Move on. Stunts may give you a bonus to your roll provided you meet up. Alright, you need to. Criteria were written in the stunts, such as circumstances, action, or skill used. You may wish to use create advantage to introduce aspects that line up with those circumstances. Keep your stunt circumstances in mind when you describe your actions too, and set yourself up for success. Create an advantage. There's a whole lot of shit here, like uh, safety tools and stuff. We'll we'll, we'll be taught. Create we? an advantage is one of the many types of actions you can oh, do. There is overcome, attack, defend, and create an advantage. I guess. Where are we? Are oh, using stunts? Are we not con? Yeah, we're still in using stunts. Normally, stunts give you a plus two bonus in a narrow circumstance with no cost. You may use them anytime they apply. Some rare and exceptionally powerful stunts may require you to spend a fate point to use them. I believe I made Sakuremi a stunt that requires a fate point. Oh, it's, it's basically that one PP that you have minus five. Her stunts are trap target in stasis, stop time, and rewind time. Oh, here we go. Because I can stop time, I can perform an extra action with a minus two penalty, but only by spending a fate point. And you already get a minus two penalty for, for the stop time ability, but okay. Alright, now let's move on to outcomes. Outcome! Whenever, Whenever you, you roll dice, the difference between your effort and the target difficulty or opposition is measured in shifts. A shift has the value of one, there are four possible outcomes. You read it. If you, your, effort your effort is less than the target difficulty or, fail, or opposition, you fail. You tie one, two, shift more than you succeed. Three or more, or you succeed with style. Oh, so I told you it's about. called succeed with style. I'm not Pretty even doubting in the first place. I'm just saying it's style. Epic. I'm not even doubting you. I don't know what you're talking about. That's bogus. Some outcomes are obviously better for you than others, but all of them should advance the story in interesting ways. You started with fiction first, make sure you end with it too. To maintain focus on the story and to ensure you interpret the results in the, a way that fits the fiction. Ethan isn't an adept safe cracker, though he has the tools, and yet he's an insinister cult guardian. Ethan Winters? Yeah, right? Oh no. In the second season. Oh, yeah. Ethan Winters. In seven as well. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Con how convenient. Fuck Co yeah. What a coin coincidence. With a steel door between him. Oh, but uh, speaking of, there's Cuphead is going to have a fucking animated cartoon and it's going to be on Netflix. Fabulous. It was announced one week ago. They're making a cartoon and they're still not giving us the DLC. Fantastic. <laughs> it's just a m meme. Should it should be a meme. They're doing everything but the DLC. Fabulous. Can he get in? Alright, so no. here's what happens w uh, with the things. Failure. If your effort Always is less than now. the target, then you will either simple fail or success at a major cost or take a hit. Simple oh. failure simply means you fucking fail. Success at a major cost means you succeed, but there is a cost. 
like that. A twist, yes. Or taking a hit, I get it. If Felix said that question, then this Or you <laughs> take a hit, which means you take damage. Oh, we don't need to read this simple thing. Your success with a major cost and take a hit and more because it's just a little bit of planet. You can, we can read them if you want, but if you if the you believe the first year just simple or you don't completely go the major point from this year that one thing is really some of this one day you simply call crack a taste of sand and bone you don't put down at the end of the new day but safety means that you will go by the right of you second the success at a major twist cost you do what you said to do but there's a significant price to pay in the situation that was more complicated to be and get it either Clear this to the sort of offer in a place of the robot oceans are going. <laughs> place at least your GM says you hear the click the last come before the the place with second friend and move brother. On the fault of the view on the trip of zero completing the bar of two up or all you can. Lastly, you may take a hit early, you know what that is. Alright, next stop is a tie. If you get into a tie, you can succeed at a minor cost or get a partial success. Success at a minor cost is like success at a major so cost. So the tie sucks as well? Kind of, yes. It's still not technically success. So yeah, ties kind of suck. Uh -oh. A minor cost is the same as like major cost when you fail, only this time it's minor. And partial success, you succeed. More kind of. Very. The other way to handle a tie is partial success. You succeed, but only got some of what you wanted. For example, Ethan can only open the safe door a crack. If the door opens more than an inch, the alarm will sound, and he can't figure out how to disengage that. He manages to pull a couple pages of the ritual out through the narrow gap, but he'll have to guess the final steps. And finally, there's success. When you succeed, you fucking succeed. Fantastic. And when you succeed with style, you succeed with style. You get what you want, and you get some Something. more out of it. Ethan is beyond lucky. The safe door opens almost instantly. Not only does he get the ritual, but he has enough time to poke through the other papers in the back of the safe. Amidst the various ledgers and financial documents, he finds a map of the old Accolade Mansion. So isn't that great for him, for Ethan? <laughs> <For Ethan. laughs> now he now he knows even more about now he knows even more about Lady Dimitrescu and Rose and stuff. I want to say this is maybe eight. I mean seven again, even though you watch more than five. All right, next overcome. I can probably get it on my goddamn PC. No, I want to play it alone. Never mind, let's go. Actions. Here we go. The four types of actions I talked about uh, a, a while ago. Overcome, oh, create an I advantage, see. attack, attack is or an action. Defend. So this is the only action I can use. Do you mean it's the only action you I can mean, use? I mean these four. Yes, so they are the four types of actions you use. Yes. Overcome. The fuck is overcome? Overcome means you overcome. I already know because I overcome, uh, improvise, adapt, yeah, overcome. You, you want to, you want to... The internet slow, Jump, you want to climb a cliff in order to get a herb, that's overcome. You want to pick a lock, that's overcome. What? Pick a lock, that's overcome. You want to smash oh, through a door. A lock, like pick, not pick. Yeah, lock pick. Lock pick. Break through a door, that is also overcome. Improvise, adapt, okay. overcome. Anything, anything that is like a static opposition, and stuff is All like right, that. Create an advantage to change the situation to your benefit. Just to change the situation to your benefit. Create an advantage. Uh, we'll, uh, attack, harm your aunt. Well, to, it's already right here. God damn it. Read. Overcome. Overcome to surmount obstacles. Yes, I was with your asking what the fuck is overcome because I don't get the definition. Every character will face untold challenges in the course of the story. The overcome action is how oh, they face and surmount I was on the those obstacles. A character good at athletics can climb over walls and race through crowded streets. A detective with high investigate can piece together clues others have missed. Someone skilled in report will find it easier to avoid a fight in a hostile bar. Your outcomes when overcoming are if you fail, when you discuss with the GM and the defending player, Fanny, whether it's a failure.
fail, you discuss with the GM whether oh, it's yeah, failure or success at the major cost. Yes, if you tie, it's success at the minor cost. You're in a tough spot, the enemy gets nice. a boost, or you may take a hit. Alternatively, you fail but gain a boost. Oh, if you succeed, then if you succeed this time, it's already been self-explanatory. If it's a success, you succeed and get a boost. A boost is an aspect that you temporarily gain. It lasts like one turn and you can invoke it for free without spending a fate Does point. it play immediately or keep until needed? Hmm? Uh, play immediately or, or else someone will use it against you and it'll disappear anyways. Oh. It's free for you but also for them. Well, they're stealing. <laughs> Charles has made his way to our target. That's an example in case. Buildings have been wrecked and the occupation occupants are missing. He wants to search the wreckage. Good. The GM tries to roll investigate against pair. What? Friend difficulty plus, plus two. two. Yeah, all the things so have the names, remember? Like oh. plus zero means. Also, oh, like the success rate in this is plus two. Yes. Higher than plus two or time plus two? You need to you need to roll higher than okay. plus two. Let's up. see. Charles gets a dice plus with a average for a good plus three. A success. The GM describes the clue he finds. Da 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 da. Overcome the action of in his. All right. <laughs> All right. Next up is create an advantage. Create a situation aspect or gain a benefit from an existing aspect. You can use the create an advantage action to change the course of the story by using your skills to introduce new aspects or add invokes to existing aspects. You can stack the deck for yourself and your teammates. You might change the circumstances, barring a door or creating a plan, discovering new information like learning a monster's weakness through research, or take advantage of something already known, such as the CEO's taste for cinnamon scotch pie. That sounds so, so much familiar. An aspect created or discovered by creating an advantage works like any other. It defines the narrative circumstances and can allow prevent or impede actions. For instance, you cannot read a spell if the room has been made pitch black. It can be also be invoked or compelled. In addition, creating an advantage gives you one or more free invokes of the created aspect. A free invoke, as the name suggests, lets you invoke an aspect without spending a fate point. The fuck is fate point again? Oh, to use the aspects. Yeah. This is a fate point. Oh. <laughs> you use them for aspects mainly, yes. Oh, uh, so that's their purpose. Yes. When you load to create an advantage specifically whether you're creating a new aspect you can also use a fate point to cancel someone's use of a What's fate point. What's a fate point, point again? <laughs> Literally, two seconds. What's a fate point? <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay if you get confused and lost. <laughs> I had to read three times and I, I've already read like three times and I still get confused sometimes. You can let your allies use fate in books you have created. Stick Boy on Team Heroes, I mean something Setsu Bo Monogatari. Then Setsu no Monogatari. <laughs> Despair Story. <laughs> yeah, Setsu what? Bo Monogatari. <laughs> I said you Stick Boy and be on Setsu Bo Monogatari. And Setsu Bo means... Setsu Bo Despair Story. <laughs> <Means> despair. <laughs> <laughs> story, tale, fantasy, if Monogatari means all of them. No, it means story, not all of them. It all uh, well. It, it still it's, translates to Tale of Legends according to Google Translate. No, no, no. It's like say hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. And he said Monogatari means all of them. So meaning the Monogatari is all of them. The world, all of them. Oh, <laughs> when you roll to create an advantage, specify whether you're creating a new aspect or taking advantage of an existing one. If the former, you are you attaching the aspect to an ally, opponent, or the environment. If you're attaching to it to an opponent, they can take the defend action to oppose you. Otherwise, uh -huh. you'll usually face a difficulty. Like Lelouch? But the GM can decide if something or someone opposes your efforts with a defend role instead. So yeah, creating an advantage is like uh, casting a bane or a boon. So creating an advantage is just a boon. Yeah. boon. Creating an advantage, for example. 
benefit for us or unbenefit to the enemy. Yeah, for example, uh, you're going to use your action to create an advantage. You're going to create the aspect knocked down and you're going to put this aspect on an enemy so that they become knocked down. And you do this by kicking them over using your fight skill. Uh, alternatively, you can be all uh, you're gonna use your magic to your fire magic to ca to make someone that, super uh, hyper. What's that action called? Over. Uh, yes, down, down. creating an advantage. Oh, create an advantage. Yes, create an advantage. Oh. Or maybe you you're using your create an advantage action to uh, push some barrels into this door so that the door becomes stuck. So yeah, if you fail, you don't create the what aspect. What skills does uh, putting a dynamite in your body call? Putting a dynamite... Uh, you want to like, put dynamite like, in your body. No, like, not inside the body. Like, I put a dynamite on your chest and it would explode in three minutes. Three seconds. What skill will that need? Uh, you want to put it at someone else's yes. body. A dynamite. A bomb, uh, whatever. I don't... Fucking no. I mean, it depends on the circumstances. Like for example, if you're if you're going to sneakily put it onto them and you don't want them to notice it and they still haven't noticed you, then I'd say that's like stealth. Or what about throwing? You want? It? Yeah. You can also use shoot for it. I oh, mean, technically shoot. it can be an attack. Yes, throwing dynamite. Fantastic. Right. And that would be an attack, not creating an advantage. Oh, probably. Fine. Why Jengus Kisser will be a dynamite thrower? For creating a new aspect, these are what can happen depending on your role. If it's an existing known or unknown aspect, it can be these. Oh. And then there are the examples. If you want to read them, that's fine. If we want to move on to attack, then we move on to attack. We move on to the attack. Alright, attack to harm the enemy. Yes, Mr. Obvious. The attack action is how you try to take out an opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say attack the poor and harbor. <laughs> Me with my stupid World War II history memory. The attack action is how you try to take out an opponent. Whether you're tr looking to kill a lonesome monster, knock out an innocent guard who doesn't know the truth about what he's guarding, an attack can be unloading with a machine gun, throwing a solid punch, Casting a baleful spell or throwing dynamite. Dynamite. Keep in mind whether or not harming your <laughs> target is even possible. Not every attack is equal. You can't just punch a kaiju. Why is it gotta be so edgy? Just say giant monster and hope to hurt it. Determine whether the attack even has a chance. I don't know what's wrong with you. Successful before you start rolling the she dice. A number of powerful beings. Oh, there's a Molotov. That need to be exploited or really. some means of defense you must get through before you can even begin to hurt them and these are what can happen when you roll for your attack throw third there's an example there and, and we can just move on to defend all right if you fail, the counter is fired. If you tie, you barely connect. If you succeed, if you succeed, it's the same. Defend. Defend is to ride an attack. It's just a defend, defend action. Yes. Like, defend is only succeed. Yes, yeah, only this action. time, you have an infinite number of defend actions you're allowed to make. Fabulous. Yes, because there are no defenses. There's no guard, toughness, or resolve. If you have to, if you want to block something, you have to make the defend action, otherwise you'll take the full blunt of the hit. So you can say your skills are your defenses. Fight. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, fight can, can can also be used to defend and attack. A little. <laughs> defend to survive an attack or interfere with a foe's action. So yes, defend is also what you use to if you want to stop someone from healing. Or you can throw a Molotov in them so they can stop. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> so you can just throw a Molotov so like, that their like, heal is immediately negated. Yeah, I like heal and then, then oh, oh, now throw I heal. Or grenade stop. and there's still one second. They stop healing to throw the grenade back at me, so but they won't get healed. Yes, that works too. Is a monster trying to eat your face? No! Then make a defend action. 
fuck? <laughs> what about when a cultist tries to stab you in the kidneys? Defend, defend, defend. No, I <laughs> battle until someone falls. <laughs> defend is the only reactive action in Fate Condensed. You can use it to stop something from happening outside your turn, so you're often facing an opposing role rather than a set difficulty. Your I enemy feel like rolls. It with size just like the Smash in Smash Bros. Often when uh, when someone makes an attack, someone almost always makes a defend action along with your can attack. Can you make an infinite attack? What do you mean? Can you make an infinite attack? Holy shit! I can make infinite defend. So meaning I can kill one versus ninety nine. I'm the one, and we're the 99 enemies. There are no multi-targeting rules. No, like, each person attacks, each person attacks, and he attacks, they defend, they defend, they defend. Yes, if, so, if like, if like, there, say you're surrounded by, like, nine cultists, all of these cultists have knives, and they try to shank you with them. You gotta roll your, you, you make your defend actions against each of them. Yes, each of them. If you fail, the blah blah blah. If you tie, you blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. I explain. Pay condensed. <laughs> Which skills can be used to attack and defend? The default list of skills follows these guidelines. Fight and shoot can be used to make physical attacks. Athletics can be used to defend against any physical attack. Fight can be used to defend against melee oh, physical we're not attacks. In defense more. We're in attack. Oh, we're done. Which skills can be used to attack and defend? The input list could follow these guidelines. Fight, shoot. Uh huh. Athletics. Uh huh. Fight. Uh huh. Provoke. Uh huh. Heal. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Other skills can be used and given permission depending on the circumstances. Most of the time, every other skill can always use overcome and uh, create an advantage. I already know who's my gender skills there is. Fuck the legendary weapon. I just have a grenade. <laughs> Molotov. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's going to be hero sword or whatever. Yeah. God, fucking bullshit. I already know my gender skills there. It's a medium range. I just have an idea for the power system. What about in grenades and Molotov's time bomb? Was that shoot or fight? Hmm? Fight is for melee, shoot is for ranged. So, Jango Skills will be yeah. as for shooting. Grenade, throwing grenades, shooting a bow, you, shooting a gun, firing a throwing gun. Throwing a rock. That throwing shoot. a rock, yes. They are all shoot. S stabbing with a sword, punching, a sword. or m m punching with a grenade rather than throwing that the grenade. Fight. That is still fight, yes. Alright, I see. As long as it's melee, it's so fight. Meaning, as long as it's ranged, If it's I have shoot. a sword and throw it like Iron Dyke, Great, I call Lancelot Iron Tights now. Amazing. We will be shook. Let's move on to aspects and fate points. Ah! What? Did the thing? Yes. Nani? Sure. Alright. Uh, boo boo. Uh, boo boo boo. Boo boo. Gaga. Mm. Mm. This is annoying. That's bogus. <laughs> <laughs> it's justified. It is annoying. I roll. There we go. Finally. Got it back. That's good enough, right? Good yeah. enough, sir. Let's move on to aspects and fate points. Aspect and fate points. An aspect is a word or yes! phrase that describes something special about a person, place, thing, situation, or group. Almost anything you can think of can have aspects. A person might have a reputation as oh, the no! greatest sharpshooter in a wasteland. The mirrors with despair story will have ids again, right? Hmm? No, oh. there will there will be no ids. Instead there is the superpower system there is called legends. <laughs> right. If you have it, you have the ability to transform into something with powers. I guess Jojo Mo Mighty Morphing, Jojo Morphing Power Ranger style. style. Or uh, I guess Sailor Moon style, magical girl style if you care. I'm, I'm, cos I'm wearing my high school girl outfit with a skirt. Our room might be on fire after you yeah, knock over an oil lamp. Girl, uh, what? A pop, 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 pop. Power Pop Girls anime in TV5. 
After an encounter with a monster, you might be terrified. Aspects let you change the story in ways that go along with your character's tendencies, skills, or problems. Aspects are always true. Me? Stop. Sorry. Alright, aspects. The two main things you do with aspects. Invoke and compel. Invoke means using your fate points to get a bonus. Compel means... What's invoke? Invoke means using a fate point to use your aspect. aspect in favor of you. A compel means gaining a fate point in exchange for using an aspect against you. Oh, it's... Oh, I get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> You can invoke aspects for a bonus to a roll and compel them to create a complication. But even when those aren't in play, aspects still affect the narrative. When you have that flesh-wrapped monstrosity pinned in a hydraulic press, that is true. It can't do much stuff there and it's not getting out easy. In essence, aspects are always true means that aspects can grant or withdraw permission for what can happen in the story. If the aforementioned monstrosity is pinned, the GM and everyone else has to respect that. The creature has lost permission to move until something happens which removes that aspect, either a successful overcome or someone foolishly reversing the press. Similarly, if you have cybernetically enhanced legs, you've arguably gained permission to leap over walls in a single bound without even having to roll for it. Uh, so, using your own aspects... If you're a god at COD, then you're a god at COD. If you play against some noobs, then you ought then you you are more than given permission to automatically succeed against. Oh, so can I have them. like uh, one match one power? A I think an aspect. A what? Uh, one hit, like one punch one, one punch they're dead. Can I have that as my high aspect? If I allow it. So you allow it? No. Why? Because fuck you, that's not the type isn't, of game we want to play. Isn't that the it's point of the character <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but it's already been established, like, in the getting started. Uh, uh, you know, everything has to make sense and stuff. I, the Jengus Kistler, uh, did a push-up, when I push-up, when thank you, Master Ron, for three straight years. Athletics, Are... damn it. One punch. Uh, the, there, the, uh, here we go. The one, uh, your one punch bullshit is already taken care of in the next few paragraphs. That's not what? to say you can create any aspect you want and use it like it's a truth club. Where aspects are you? Where grant are there a lot of highlights. That's not to say. That's not to say. That's not to say. That's not to say. Fine, control F. Literally right below cybernetically enhanced legs. Cybernetically, alright, cyber. It's still on, we're still on the top. Where are you? Are you already at the bottom of the fucking page? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, just, they're just like in school. Like, alright, let me go to the next pen page. Alright, single bond. Bond. Uh huh? Uh, further down. That's not to say. That's not to say. You can create any aspect you want like it and use it like it's a truth club. Aspects grant a oh, lot of power. Oh, like a club. Yes. Not truth club. <laughs> yes, I'm, I keep misreading it. Grant a lot of power to shape the story. Yes, but with that power comes responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility to play within the story's constraint. Aspects had to line up with the table sense of what actually passes muster. If an aspect muster. doesn't pass the sniff test, it needs to be reworded. Sure, you might like to use create an advantage to inflict the aspects dismembered on top of that fungal super soldier, but that clearly steps on the toes of the attack action. And besides, it takes a bit more work to lop her arm off than that. It could work as a consequence, though. See the next page. You might say you're the world's best shot, but you'll need to back that up with your skills. And as much as you'd like to make yourself bulletproof, removing permission for someone to use small arms fire to harm you, that is unlikely to fly unless the game you're playing involves using aspects as superpowers, which we're not. I know what's my Jengus Kisser now, he's a soldier. That's why I know he's... Fuck you. 
What kind of aspects are there? There are an endless variety what of... What are you? Oh, what kind of aspect? There are an endless variety of aspects, but no matter what they're called, they all work pretty much the same. We can name it how long they stick around for long away. Character aspects... What? There are mimic? aspects that are on your character. Yeah, they're always there as long as the character's still alive and kicking. Oh, your high of concept, course. your trouble, those are all character aspects. No, that isn't Examples. Great. Attention to detail. I must protect my brother, leader of my band of survivors. Situation aspects are aspects surrounding a scenario or situation or place and whatever. Like a fire emoji on fire. Fire emoji on fire. Light. Crowd of angry people knocked to the ground, pursued by the police. Consequences are injuries, sprained ankle, concussion, and debilitating self-doubt. Fire on fire. Consequences, boost, consequences, boost. And here we go, boosts. boosts. <laughs> consequences, boost. <laughs> I just remember something, Miracle Milk. Yeah? I remember you. If Joker died, you will make a new character, but you're not a cat Yakuza anymore. I remember you saying that. Did I? Yeah, if Joker died, you will you, you create a new uh, character sheet. Yeah, because I was a bitch and I really didn't want you playing as evil McEvil pants in my goody McGoody. What's campaign. Joker again on uh, Miracle Milk? Yeah, if I, pl if I ever rerun that, yeah, I want to redo a lot of shit. I'll still let you play. Was that Toho Huh? Like you said in Toho 6, they all recap? Redo? Yeah. What word? Capture? Capture card? What do you mean? Like, Explain. Like, you said in Toho, like the the other Toho doesn't matter because it's just change the word. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> a a boost, boost is a special <laughs> kind of aspect. Representing you. An extremely temporary or minor situation. You cannot compel a boost or spend a fate point to invoke it. You may invoke it once for free, after which it vanishes. An unused boost vanishes when the advantage it represents no longer exists, which may be a few seconds or the duration of a single action. They never persist beyond the end of the scene, and you can hold off naming one until you're using it. If you're in control of a boost, you may pass it to an ally if there's rationale for it. Yes. Examples are like in my sights, distracted, or unstable footing. Okay, what can I do with aspects? Earning fate points. One way you can earn fate points is by letting your character's aspects be compelled against you. Complicate the situation or make your life harder. Compelled is get a fate points, but they can use an aspect for me, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, getting a you compel means using your aspects against you. Willingly. Oh, I, my aspects against me, not yes, your aspects. Yes, willingly. That's what your trouble is for. Like, you willingly ignore oh, you. I Like, you willingly, like, start flirting with the lady you're supposed to be trying to interrogate because they're a pretty girl, so you, you got big boobs? I like your, I like you, girl. <laughs> Every simple. <laughs> See, we laugh. You agree with it. Do it. I guess that works. You might also get a fate point payout if someone uses your aspect against you in a hostile invoke or when you concede. Invoke. Failed. Yeah, so uh, you will remember what I said about like an enemy can use your own aspects against you to get their own plus twos and stuff. Yeah, you get a fake point when they do that. I'm going to invoke payout. What do you mean invoke payout? There's no invoke payout here. He said invoke payout. You may also get a fake point payout. Fake point. Ah, it's still on earning fate points in the very first paragraph, near the end. It's in the third line. Pennies. If someone uses your aspect against you in a hostile invoke or when oh, you Oh, hostile! Receive, there you go. Yeah. Remember, each session you also start with fate points at least equal to your refresh. 
If you are compelled more than you invoked in the prior session, you'll show up at the next one with more. I wish this was cool. Like, if you're lost, they can stop and let you find what paragraph they are. <laughs> when it's cool, they, they start reading and never stopping. Invokes. Invokes. To unlock the true power of aspects and make them help you, you will need to spend fate points. Of this legend. To invoke them during the. <laughs> well, here, here's a fate point. Just in case you forgot. <laughs> Keep track of, of your fate points. Every three. Yes, I know, G. Creator of fate. Pennies. Or glass beads of cover chips. Hey! How very convenient. You can also invoke aspects for free if you have a free invoke from your uh, um, for free if you have a free invoke from your or an ally. All from the advantage. Yes. Right. The boosts, remember? Yeah. Boosts uh, boost are the guaranteed way free you can advantage. invoke for free. Invoke or compelled. Press back. Alright, I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> yeah, you can click on the blue text. Alright, okay. ellipses. The ellipsis trick. If you want an easy way to ensure you have room to incorporate aspects into a role, try narrating your action with an ellipsis at the end. Also know that's what we call triple dots. Oh, that's why it's called? Hell yeah. I always think that, no, I don't want to respond to you. Fuck, you don't talk to me. <laughs> like, oh, or they make a corny weave joke. I just not, not, not them. <laughs> And then finish the action with the aspect you want to invoke. Like this. Ryan says, so I'm trying to decipher the runes and... It rolls dice. Fuck, I rolled all minuses. <laughs> and if I haven't been there, I've read about it. Spends a fate point, so I easily start rambling about their origin. You want an easy way to ensure you have room to incorporate aspects into the world than anything you already have seen. I actually still kind of don't get that part, but okay. Fabulous. I'm sure we'll understand soon when we start doing our one shots. I got already here some example scenarios we can try out. Is it another Notaro Kuno? Yeah, Notaro Kuno will Hell be yeah. the one shot. Conflict, I got conflict scenarios, contests, and challenge scenarios. Like, here's one. Uh, Sung believes you badmouthed Sung? him and now wants to challenge you in a rap battle. Yes, Sung. Here's a chal here's a contest. You are challenged to an eating contest against Kumoko. Oh my god, if I were if, if I in the contest first in party, yeah, I would want that challenge. I can use the water trick. <laughs> right. Alright. Hostile what about, what about what about uh Kamisama? What will you challenge him? Oh, yeah. I haven't come up with any scenarios. I kind of didn't want to use him for anything. For anything. Yeah, just forget him about him. What about Otsu? Oh wait, you Kumoko was supposed to be in the sewing machine challenge. Like who can create a scarf faster? Design. Anyway. You're you're entering a con an art contest, yes. and, and one of the competitors it's is Kumoko. Kumoko. Bam! There we go. Then. Most of the hostile invocations. Hostile. Most. Of the time an, an aspect is invoked, it's a character aspect or a situation aspect. Sometimes you'll invoke enemies' characters' aspects against them. This is called a hostile invocation. It and it works just like invoking any other aspect. Pay a fate point and get a plus two to your roll or re-roll the dice. Oh, that is There's one point. small difference. When you make a hostile invocation, the the fate point you spend goes to the enemy. Oh, that's hostile invocation. Yes. It's not two, but I give it to them. Yes. Alternatively, I can oh, do so the same why, and give you a fate point. Oh, that's point. why. Like, if you have four in the last session, you will make four. Oh, so that's why it's four. I was thinking, how you get one more? And then, and then, you think that probably. No, maybe in the situation. I can use fate points after the roll, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you you only use your aspects and stunts after you've already made your roll. Fiction or roll? Mm -hmm. Fiction first, roll the dice, add yeah, it yeah, to yeah. your skill, and then you can decide if you want to use aspects or stunts. Oh! And then the result is declared. 
is oh is it not oh I thought it like fiction roll dice you can use a stunt or not whatever after the dice do I need to declare my stunt first before rolling hmm? no you declare your stunt after you've already rolled so along after. with your aspects so fiction yes. roll then whatever you can do yes fabulous invoking to declare story details yeah yes. I thought we weren't done yet oh I thought we were done hostile you gave he, there's an points. important part about the fate points there they, but you when you make a hostile invocation you give okay. the fate point to the enemy but they don't get to use the fate point until after the scene is over. This oh. payout only applies when a fate point is actually spent on a hostile invocation. Free invokes do not trigger a payout. Why is it called a payout? I don't know. Don't ask me. Who creates so, yeah. this, right? When I give you your fate point I after I invoke that. that aspect against you or if you do the same to me, I can't use that fate point immediately. I gotta wait until the combat is over or something, something, etc, etc. Let's call a deal. I use the hostile invocation, then you use hostile invocation. So just give up. The <laughs> quiff to attain something of equal value must be. <laughs> equivalent exchange. That is the law of equivalent exchange. In those. See? Isn't that a good? I, give, I use hostile invocation, you use hostile invocation as well. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because it would be the same. It's just a plus two. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> Invoking to declare story details. You may add an important or unlikely detail to the story. Based story based now? Yes. You may add an important or unlikely detail to the story based on an aspect in play. Don't spend a fate point when aspects are always true applies. Pay when it's a stretch or table willing, when there's no relevant aspect. For example, you declare. You may declare that since you're a mil since you have the aspect millionaire, uh, you have uh, uh, you have the item that you need. Like, oh, you guys, we, we need to do stage. some computers to yeah. do some research. Well, I'm a millionaire, so I most likely have a computer at my home. It's probably like really good as well. <laughs> With no sex of me. <laughs> <laughs> I play code in their 1999 version. <laughs> oh, so that explains why you're always King Crimsoning around whenever we're playing. <laughs> uh, lastly, there are compels. Oh yeah, they take and run in Windows XP and so cancel each other. Aspects can be compelled to complicate compels. the situation and earn fate points. To compel an aspect, the GM or a player offers a fate point to the player whose character 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 is being compelled. Character, Anakin, and tells them why an aspect is making things more difficult or complicated. If you refuse to compel, you must spend a fate point from your own supply and describe how your character avoids the complication. Yes, this means that if you don't have any fate points, you cannot con refuse to compel. Like for example, you're in a bar, you're in a bar fight, but you see o Otsu dancing naked in the bar. Uh, so uh, I will, uh, uh, so I will compel you uh, that that you get uh, the penalty or something. And if you don't want to be distracted uh, during the fight, you're going to have to compel give. Compel is you get a free point, a plus two, a, a free aspect, but. <laughs> We're reading it right now. As we can be compelled, complicate the situation or fake points. Oh yes, you get. You can you can uh, if you if you do the compel yourself, you gain a fake point. But I, as the GM or you as the player, can compel something of your own volition, and they gotta spend a fake point to refuse it. Does that make sense? No, sir. Okay, then. There's, there should be an example here, right? I thought this is my evil. Just read it. I'll explain in more detail later and aspect give examples. Aspect can be compelled to complicate the situation and earn fake points to compel an aspect. The GM or a player offers a fake point to each other. To the player. To the player. To the PC? 
to the player. The oh, GM the player. is also a player. Do not forget that. Faithful to the player whose character is being compelled and tells them why an aspect is making them things more difficult. The trouble or complicated. If you choose to compel, you must find your faith point from your own supplies. Oh, yeah. You use faith points to run away. Because <coughs> you solve some problems. Any aspect can, get, can be compelled, whether it's your high aspect, your trouble. Alternatively, you can you can also still use your trouble to gain a bonus. If you you can get focused on how your trouble works against you, but they can still be used for you. Remember, like for example, uh, since you're a sucker for a pretty face, you can tell when someone's a trap or not at a glance. I don't know. Is that even an ability? It happened in Pokemon once, where Bro where since Brock is such a fucking lewd bitch, he immediately was able to tell apart who was disguised as Team Rocket and who was the actual Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny. I have the CDs to prove. Uh, I can probably find the episode if I try hard enough. Oh yeah, by the way, why? Uh, what what do you say? Roses are red, violets are blue. That. You said, why you that? Are you watching Kaya Furu? No, I'm not. I just thought it would be funny to do it. You're oh, you're always doing weird intros. Now it's my turn to do one. No, my weird intros like Echoes Akuti! <laughs> Alright, any aspect can be compelled. Whether it's a character aspect, okay. a situation aspect, or consequence. But it must be something that affecting the character that affects the character being compelled. Any character aspect situation aspect consequence you must be the mm -hmm. Anyone can offer a compel. The player proposing the compel must spend one of their own fate points. The GM then takes over running the compel for the affected target. The GM does not lose a fate point by offering a compel. They have a limited pool of fate points for invoking aspects but can compel as much as they like. Well, aren't I a great ass fucking cheater? This is like school again. Someone needs something and I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, I fucking forgot. What What the fuck did I just say? Anyone can offer... <laughs> yeah, that's like me in school. Alright, I get it. I don't get it anymore. Anyone can offer a compel. The player proposing the compel must spend one Why of we their can own... Be compelled or can offer a compel? Can offer a compel. I see. The player proposing the compel must spend one of their own fate points. The GM then takes over running the compel for the affected target. The GM does not lose a fate point by offering a compel. They have a limited pool of fate points for invoking aspects, but can compel as much as they like. Oh, so if you're a player, you can spend a fate point to offer a compel. That's what it means. Compels can be retroactive. What the fuck is that? <laughs> no, you know the other way, right? Yes. That this thing, I did like this and put it on my butt and tickly. <laughs> <laughs> How lewd. <laughs> Basically the tongue, I'm making a tongue on my butt. No one needed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, your ass! <laughs> Thank God, for once I'm grateful there's not a camera for you. <laughs> Otherwise, I would be able to see you. <laughs> if only you were a cute anime girl instead. Compels can be retroactive. If a player finds that they have roleplayed themselves into a complication related to one of their aspects or a situation aspect that concerns them, they can ask the GM, you're fucking doing a dance now. <laughs> they can ask the GM if that counts as a self-compel, if the group agrees, the GM slides the player. Are you that can be retroactive? Yes, the, the GM slides the player. The player can say, I into a complication related to one of the aspects of the horror situation as to the concerns them. They can ask the GM if that counts as self-compel. Yeah, if you accidentally find out that you're using an aspect against you, you can say that you're doing a self-compel and then... I can give you a fate point if I oh. agree. Oh! Can you tell that again? <laughs> the example? Let's say, for example, you accidentally found yourself role-playing. Like, what's a scene in the Dented Adam the Screaming where this happened? Where we accidentally found out you were role-playing a flaw, so I gave you one? Samino. Without 
intentionally do, doing do, it. Like, what class are you? And then Sakura me, I'm an assassin, but what assassin? Oh, I'm an assassin. Right. <laughs> but Sanjin Mu's assassin is the gaming assassin. Right. What class? There we go. What class are you? Assassin. It's okay to recognize a compel as off the mark and withdraw it. If the group agrees that a proposed compel wasn't appropriate, it should be withdrawn at no cost to the compelled character. And finally, co compels are complications, not stemmies. Are we, not are we gonna recognize a compel? Compels are complications, not stemmies. It's the next section. Oh! We've, we're already finished. When offering a compel nature, the complication is a course or action. Where are we? What table of contest is this? Yes, you're in the correct place. You're Aspects reading the correct shape. points. Fuck. I bet challenges will be more pages and more words. We don't have to read that. We're going to run some scenarios. So we're going to be playing while reading and learning the rules. When offering a compel, make sure the complication is a course of, of action or major change of circumstance. Now they are denial of option. Oh, you gotta stand with your eyes. Too bad! <laughs> so yeah, that's see. not allowed. You can't do that with compels. Instead, what so you, you should, should instead do is... So you shoot at the creature and miss. Oh, I'm, I'm the one who got sand in the eyes. Yeah, you're not allowed to you you're not allowed to do that for compels. What you're instead supposed to do is, you know, curse your luck. I think that the sand is in your eyes means that you can't really see anything. Your shots at the Shoggoth go wild, puncturing a few barrels that are now gushing gasoline toward the fire pit. Is a much better compel than simply saying you miss. Oh fiction. <laughs> For some ideas about what does and doesn't work as a compel, check out the discussion about types of compels found in the Power lock, System, sorry. starting at fucking page 72 of that book. Amazing. Who wow. knows a damn. Events and decisions. There are the two. Creators. <laughs> Events and decisions. There are two. Just a little bit. An event compels something that happens to a character because of an external force. The external, that external force connects with the aspect. Again, the aspect in comp the aspect is complicated. <laughs> Just yes. like math, they are anything and everything all at once. M does is the easiest math, but you go to high school is more complicated, complicated, more complicated. But technically, it's the, it's li it's y you're literally just finding more ways to add, subtract, divide, and multiply, as long as you know how to do all four of them. Yeah, basically, to do math, you need the formula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A decision compel is internal, where the factors, flaws, or competing, competing values get in the way of better judgment. The aspects guides the character to make a particular choice in for output. I don't get anything. I really don't get anything. In either case, a resulting complication is key. Without a complication, there is no compel. Alright, example of an event compel is you being unable to continue making chase because there's the event that there's a fire and blocking your way. Oh, so that's an event? Yes. A decision compel uh, is you choose to not give chase because you realize who you're chasing is like someone you, you don't want to chase. Like... Maybe the, the person you're chasing after is like a ga uh, a child, and you have a flaw that says, "Ah, oh, man, I don't like running, chasing after children. I hate doing that." So that's that. a decision. Yes. I see. So I bent what's happening right now. The decision. What the PC do? Yes. Well, that's what you said. So that's dirty. <laughs> Hostile invocations or compels. What the fuck's the difference? I don't know. Me neither. Let's yeah, just move on. open legend community. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Should we be asking the fate community? Oh. Maybe. How can I add and remove aspects? Should... Oh, we're in here now. Yes. You can create a discovery. Unless you wanna talk about the difference between hostile invocations and compels. Uh, I just learned it as we go, like in open ages, like... Oh yeah, there's this thing like assist action. I use that just like that. We, I learned as the... We're almost done. We're just gonna finish reading this and then that's the end of today's session. Yeah, I'm gonna pee. Alright, so hostile invocations oh, are mechanical. 
while compels our narrative fictional effects. What's hostile invocation again? Oh yeah, the equivalent hostile a, yes. Mechanical effect. It means they affect the rules, they give you bonuses and stuff, while compels affect the story. They don't exactly do anything with the rules, they just change the story and stuff. Uh, no mechanical stuff actually happens on a compel. It's all in your head. So something will become the arch enemy and and the the, the, the arch enemy of the universe. <laughs> Nemesis. All right. How can I add and remove aspects? You can create or discover a situation aspect using the create an advantage action. You may also create boosts that way or as a result of a tie or success with style when you overcome an obstacle attack or defend you can oh that team changed to the mechanical fate effect yes you can remove an aspect provided you can think of a way your character could do so blast the raging fire with a fire extinguisher use evasive maneuvers to escape the pursuing guard that's on your tail Depending on the situation, that might require an overcome action. In this case, an opponent could also use a defend action to try to preserve the effect, if they can describe how they do so. However, if there's no narrative block to remove an aspect, you can simply do so. If you're all tied up, and then a friend unties you, the aspect goes away. If there's nothing stopping you, there's no need to roll. Oh. Oops. There are other kinds of aspects too, but uh, yeah. You, you Where are we? Are we in the hostile or in add and remove? Add and re we already finished add and remove, so we're on the final stretch. Other kinds of aspects. I mean, an aspect and a, a, is an aspect. Do you really need to know what type of aspect is it? it is? It's an aspect. Do you, do you really need to know that it's specifically a character aspect? An aspect on a scenario, a zone aspect, an organization aspect. Just, just chill. It's an aspect. <laughs> <laughs> While me reading, just, just chill, man. It's just an aspect. Just chill, man. You're just pregnant. <laughs> so tomorrow we'll be doing challenge conflicts and contests. We'll be running test scenarios so we can test out the rules. So we'll, we're gonna be making good use of these fake GM screens so that we don't have to fucking reread through all the paragraphs. No one cares. Is that mine? It's mine. Epic. Bye.